Hey, what's up guys? My name's Jeremy and these are my two beagle puppies right here. They're about 10 weeks old in this clip right here. And uh, they're up and they're running rabbits now. And uh, you know, they're, they're almost three years old now and I wanted to do a video on how I train them to uh, hunt rabbits. So here's a video here when they were only 10 months old. And that's about how long it took me to get them running hard. Like you see them right there, noses on the ground, barking like crazy. Um, and then this next clip here, this is, you know, same thing, about a year old, maybe a little less. And then, uh, this next clip here, this is just a week ago. This is, you know, they're almost three years old now and they're running as hard as ever and they're retrieving rabbits. You can see he's got the rabbit there. Bring him right to me, bring him right out of the prickers so I don't have to climb in there, which is very nice. So the first thing I do when they're puppies is obviously just let them be puppies. You know, you, you don't want to force it. They're, they're not going to have real long attention spans. They still don't. Um, but that's, that's what they're bred to do. They're bred to follow their nose and not listen to anything. Just focus on what their nose is telling them and not get distracted. And they just have a one track mind like that. But that's what they're supposed to do. So just be patient with them, um, expose them to rabbits. This is my house here. I'm in the city. I'm in a suburb just east of Cleveland and obviously no room at all to really chase rabbits. So I actually built a little running pen in the backyard or a little starting pen rather, just like a little 30 foot by 30 foot maybe if that. Um, so that I could run rabbits in the backyard when they're puppies, just to get their noses used to it. Um, I mean, if you, you can take them to the park, but there's no guarantee that you're going to even see rabbits at the park. But just getting them around rabbits and getting them to smell the rabbits when they're, you know, 10 weeks old like this in just little spurts, just throughout the day, you know, maybe just take them and show it to them and just start getting them used to it. That's that's a big part of uh, getting them trained to start desiring that scent to chase it. You can see I, the way I have this pen set up, like I said, it's 30 by 30 feet. And um, I, didn't, I didn't want the rabbits just to be, you know, chased to death in there by the puppies. So I put a bunch of stuff for them to hide behind. You can see like a little sheet of plywood there. And then I just piled up like some stuff in the center that they could run and hide in. I got like a canoe on the other side and some brush in the back. And the puppies, you know, they're a lot slower than the rabbit. So the rabbit can easily get away. But you just want to make sure, you want to watch it, make sure they don't catch the rabbit and... You know, the rabbits get tired too, so, you know, I put them back in the box, and it's good to get a couple rabbits, you know, and, and they're basically just playing with the rabbits. You know, I don't I don't let them get any real aggressive with them, but that's all they're doing is just chasing them uh, around like this, basically playing, and they're getting their noses used to trying to find the rabbit, and then when they see the rabbit, they chase the rabbit. And these rabbits are San Juan rabbits. Um, because you're not allowed to hold wild rabbits in captivity in Ohio. So, you know, it's against the law to put them in a pen like this. So I found a guy that had San Juan rabbits. And I think he sells them for food, but they were only like 10 bucks a piece. So I just grabbed two of them and, um, you know, fed them, kept them fed and watered in here. But the whole idea is, is to put them in this pen, you know, 10, 20 minutes, you know, a couple times a day. And just get them that exposure to the rabbits and just getting them used to it. And really, it's just giving them the opportunity to train themselves. There's nothing that I really deliberately do to make them chase the rabbits or bark at them or anything. You just put them by the rabbits and they teach themselves. And, you know, that's what they're bred to do. So, again, I just put them in here, let them figure it out. You know, you can see them chasing the rabbit there. But then they... If they, you know, they'll lose it, the rabbit will go hide behind something or under something and they have to go around and sniff and kind of look for it and just leave them be. That's, that's how they learn. Just, just let them go and, you know, don't point out the rabbit or anything like that. Um, you know, give them some time to try to find it on their own. Um, and what you want to, you know, what you're hoping to happen is that they'll start 
barking too as they're chasing the rabbit so you can listen to them there they're uh they're really starting to bark and this is really where they start to pick up speed and you know they're really chasing this rabbit so they so they, they got it figured out you know as much as they are as, pup, as much as they're going to as 10 week old puppies like this so once they get to this point this is pretty much where i'm done with the with the starting pen like this you know so i'm gonna break it all down you know let the rabbits go because uh you know i'm not gonna let them sit there and just bully the rabbits you know once they really start chasing them like this you know that's when it's that's when i'm done with it that's when they've graduated from the small starting pen and it's time to take them to the woods and find some actual wild rabbits to chase so the next thing that is crucial to their development as rabbit hunters is to take them on vacation with you and go swimming in the rivers. My dogs love it. But seriously though, I think it is important to develop that relationship with them. You know, I think they, I honestly think they hunt harder for me. But they're family dogs. That's, that's what the takeaway from this video is I train family house dogs. But on a more serious note, um, something that is very, very important is to train them around loud noises. Because if you don't, they're going to be useless. You're not going to be able to shoot guns anywhere near them. And what I did was I used these pop caps, you know, just get them at the dollar store. And uh, I threw them, I started a good like 20, 30 feet away from them while they were eating. And over the course of a week, week and a half, um, I moved to the point where you can see how close I am. I'm throwing them right at the ground and they're barely even registering that I'm throwing them. But that only took like maybe 10 days to do that. I don't know. Um, you know, some, some dogs will be different, you know, only don't push them. You know, if they're, if their ears are kind of perking up and they're kind of squatting down when you throw it, you know, back off a little and, you know, maybe try it again another day, but don't just like get right in their faces with it. You, you could you know, ruin them permanently that they're going to be afraid of noises the rest of their lives. But I think it's important to even do to non-hunting dogs. You know, I see so many people medicating their dogs around 4th of July. You know, it could be prevented if you were to do this as puppies, you know, expose them to the noises. I'm going to do another video and talk about other stuff that I didn't couldn't fit in here, but you can see they have shock collars on, GPS collars. Um, I could talk more about those and just some other things. But, um, uh, I have a TikTok account that I do some videos while I'm hunting, but the videos immediately get banned because they're hunting, I guess. I don't know, but I'll just play it at the end of this video. So enjoy. Thanks. Good boy. Good boy.